first hands is because it is our responsibility. Somebody has to speak up for these people that are in the lower areas. This was our first youth advisory council. We had the beginning part of it in the fall and then this part this spring. We had over 25 students who came from all areas of the 26th district. Our youth advisory council started off on the Senate floor where everybody came. They got a tour of the floor to be able to see exactly how the things work. They got to actually push the buttons and be able to vote and see the votes come up on the board. And this was a really great way to get them excited and get them into the process to kind of see where do the, the bills go before they go on to the governor and then backtrack into that process to go into the committee hearings and actually be able to sit down and work through how it is that you a bill comes about and how you argue and debate it in a productive manner. Why don't we have the choice of choosing where our money is going to go? You've got to listen to our debate. Funny to go over to the professor. They're like, you guys should be scared of America. Okay. Is that, is that a good argument? What I learned from all today was like, you know, about the people's different roles and positions here in Springfield and what they do. Basically just procedure, how everything works, and I thought it was very interesting just to experience how these people, what these people do every day. It was definitely a surprise to be here and uh, actually come into the Senate's chambers onto the Senate floor itself. Also to my surprise, we actually took a picture with the governor. Each school district, based on the number of students in the school district, and shall be used by each school district exclusively for building maintenance, textbooks, and strengthening curriculums. We were against this because uh, we think that um, you know taking money from uh, or through this way isn't really the best, and that we should use money that we already have or that's already being collected currently. I think it was very fun actually. I mean, you're not only just, I mean, it's not just driving down to Springfield and then, you know, you know, playing politics for a few hours. It's, it's kind of learning and actually experiencing it, not only, you know, just here, but also in the actual Capitol building, the Capitol office building. So that was really cool. Um, so you're kind of, you know, doing an environment that's familiar to the actual topic and the, and the policies at hand and then also you know, incorporating it and being able to discuss it with others. This coming fall, we'll be doing this process again, and we're gonna have an invitation where uh, students from all over the district will be able to come and participate next time. As they are moving up through the ranks in high school, they'll have an opportunity to come and participate in the next one of these. So please reach out to my office if you wanna be on the list so that you can be informed and know when the next opportunity is coming up for either your child or a student that you know.